Hey, what's going on everybody? Richie Plumins of Plumins Lawn and Landscape. I kind of want to go over the uh, 196cc Wibong commercial push mower that they sent us a couple of months ago. We've been using it for about two or three months now and we've got a lot of hours on it. Um, I mean, we we go through the push mowers extremely fast. Um, usually they don't last me more than a couple of months and then we have to trash them. Uh, we've run Honda push mowers, uh, the Honda residential, excuse me, not commercial, but we have run the Honda residential push mower, wore it out. We've run the Toro Recycler, wore it out. We've run the Toro Time Master and we wore it out after a couple of months. We've used the Xmark Commercial 21 inch push mower. We actually lost two transmissions in it within the first two or three months, uh, mowing a lot of hills around here. And we've also used the Y Bravo commercial push mower. Um, it was another one that we were just, we just couldn't get it to go. I mean, it just seems like it was, it wouldn't pull a hill. It would just, it was just too heavy and too big to, to get up the hill. This is a little bit lighter than the uh, Y Bravo, I believe. Uh, it seems to go up a hill a little bit better. Um, but there's not a whole lot of push mowers out there I've learned that can climb some of the hills that, that we put these on. And uh, another reason we wear them out, I don't know if you guys have ever um, actually mowed Bermuda grass when it's heavily overgrown. It's extremely tough to cut, it's extremely thick, and it, it, I mean, it'll wear a mower out extremely fast. So we do cut a couple of condos that uh, they, they only want push mowing and so uh, with this mower alone just Saturday on one of our condos we actually filled our entire 16 foot open trailer up with grass clippings out of this mower alone. I mean we done a ton of push mowing. So a uh, couple of the features of this mower that, uh, that I like and then we're going to go over the things that I dislike about this mower. Uh, I'm going to read some of this off to you that way I don't uh, misinterpret anything. Everything is it's, directly from Wibong's uh, website. It is a 21 inch uh, aluminum deck push mower. It does, uh, it has a single height adjustment, uh, which I'll show you shortly. And it uh, has an anti-vibration technology in the, uh, the handles to, to cut down on that vibration. So, and the wheels itself have the double ball bearings in each wheel. So it makes it super easy to, to, to move. Uh, of course, the, the blade brake clutch, uh, where you can disengage the mower blades without the mower turning off. You can actually just let go of this and you know your blades stop and you're able to, to keep the mower running if you want to move it or whatnot. So, and then uh, this is a shaft driven mower. There is no belts, they, you know, so it's maintenance free. Basically, it's just a shaft driven. It takes care of the, uh, the transmission and the blades and everything. So, I mean, that, that's a big plus. It's less downtime for us not having to fool with the, uh, the belts, adjusting belts, tensioners, and all that stuff. So, that, that's really nice. And, uh, and it's built to, it will mulch and it will also uh, uh, discharge and it will collect. It'll discharge from the back and then you got a mulch plug you can put in the back or you can use the bag here and actually collect. So uh, it is a mulch, discharge, and collect mower. So it does all three. And it does have the 196 cc engine on it. So uh, overall, um, this mower, uh, compared to the past mowers that I've ran, I'm, I'm extremely pleased with. I'm extremely happy with this mower and I hope to get uh, a lot more use out of it. Like I said, I've used it for, for about two, three months right now. And, uh, and it's still going strong. I mean, it's done very well. It's uh, pretty fuel efficient. And you know, it is a, a pretty quick mower, but it's not one that's so uncomfortable that it, that it takes off and outruns you. I know a lot of you, you know, when you're running a push mower and you put it on the fastest setting, it feels like it outruns you. But this one don't. It will stand a wheelie on you if you're not ready for it when you do engage that transmission and start to go. So, I mean, you kind of got to be ready for it. Um, and that's one thing that... Uh, that uh, I had to get used to at first. Um, the dislikes that I have on this mower, and once again, I'm gonna show you all these in just a moment, but I'm just kinda going over a, a few of the topics. The dislikes that I currently have for this mower is that one adjustment, that, that one handle height adjustment for the whole mower. I like that we have one handle, but in a minute I will show you how that one handle kinda sticks out a little bit and you kinda get into things that uh, you, you'll bump into something and sometimes it'll hit that handle and it'll knock it down a notch or two and you know then you've got a scout mark in the yard. So that's one thing that I that I dislike about it. And then the dislike that I have is right here on the blade engagement on the blade brake control here. Basically it's it's a smaller handle than what the actual handle of the mower is. And where that's smaller, when you're running the mower, you actually have to when you're when you go to turn or something, if you if you turn to your left 
you know, you're okay, but if you go to turn to your right, or, well, excuse me, if you turn to your right, you're okay, but if you go to turn to the left, you need to use that one hand operation to spin the mower around. The actual clutch for the blades is, is it's about four or five inches from your hand, and so it actually, you've got to grab it with the right hand and kind of maneuver it around. So it's a little, little uncomfortable. Nothing that you couldn't, you know, kind of get used to and figure out. I've gotten used to it now. It is a little uh, uncomfortable at first, but now I do enjoy it. Oh, well, I'm not going to say I enjoy it, but I, I do have some experience behind it now that I've gotten used to it, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, as far as collecting, it does collect super quickly. Um, I mean, just like any push mower, you're gonna, you're gonna fill up pretty quick, so you do have to do a lot of dumping just with any collection push mower. I mean, that's just kind of a given. So, but everything is pretty simple to use on the mower. Um, I'm trying to think of a couple other dislikes that I may have. I think it's the the anti-vibration foam up here starting to kind of come off, uh, but that's because we're kind of rough on them. So we do do like I said, we do wear these mowers out. So. Um, I'm going to take the camera now, I'm going to kind of go around it, go over some things that I was showing you that I like and dislike, and uh, and you'll kind of get an idea that this mower is not clean, we blow it off after every uh, yard, we don't pressure wash it, I mean, so, I mean, it's not going to be a super clean mower in this review, I mean, it's been used, it's been, I mean, put through its paces, and, and we work them, and we work them hard, that's what equipment's for, uh, a lot of the guys, you know, they want to say, oh, we, we, we take care of our equipment, we take care of our equipment, but we work it, and we work it hard, uh, when, when you've got a, a commercial piece of equipment, uh, you best believe I'm going to work it, and, and I'm going to work it till its fullest extent, so, uh, let's go ahead and grab the camera, I'll go around a few things here and show it to you, and then we'll get this right up. All right, guys. So here we are. We're gonna kind of go over this more a little bit. I'm sorry the lighting's a little off. I'm having to do this in the building. Uh, it's just a little easier, and you can hear we've got so much noise going on outside. So I'll kind of go over this mower. Uh, if you look here, here's your controls. Um, you know, right here is where you get your speed control. It's got three notches, which are fast, um, faster. I, I'm gonna say faster, <laughs> fast, and and then slow. So that's gonna be my my speed control fast faster and slow so and then here's where you adjust the uh, the uh, throttle on the mower all the way down as clutch all the way back shuts the mower off so it's easy to shut off uh, if you look here you'll notice what I'm talking about on the blade brake control how it's got this little I don't know if you guys can see it how it kind of angles in so this portion here of the handle itself you don't really you know, if you're holding here, you notice it comes open if you're holding on this side of the equipment. So, you know, that's the one downfall that I, I have found is that right there. I do not like that. Um, like I said, it's something that you can get used to, but it's something that, uh, you know, I've gotten used to, but I'm still not, uh, I'd still rather it come all the way across. It would just make it so much simpler and, and easier, more efficient. So, it is pull start. Uh, you do have adjustments here on the sides if you want to uh, adjust the, uh, the angle of your handlebars. You just flip this little lever out right here on the side, turn it, and then this comes loose and you're able to, to put your uh, mower on the angle that you want it on. Uh, when you come around to the front here, sorry the lighting, like I said, is a little bit bad. Um, you notice that uh, what I was telling you about, this is what we were talking about with the the adjustment the one piece adjustment here and if you'll notice the ends if i can get the camera to focus on this here you'll notice here on the end how i've got big chunks of rubber coming off that's where i've bumped it against things over time and it kind of sticks out over the edge of the tire just a hair over the edge of this tire and so what ends up happening where it sticks out like i said over the edge of that tire a little bit it ends up getting into things and actually causing it to to drop that down you know maybe one notch or so so but that's something you just kind of got to look out for you um you know you kind of got to be alert and know hey this is going to kind of you know grab stuff if you're not careful well bong has told me that they are working on changing that and they are working on changing the uh the um the blade the blade brake control up top so they're going to change that as you can tell we're wearing the tires completely out on this i mean they're they used to have good ridges in it but uh i, I mean i wear them out i wear out uh, push mowers so and then of course in the back back here this is where it uh, will discharge from as you can see 
it comes right out through that hole. They got a, uh, a mulch plug that goes in there. And so if you want to mulch, you can mulch. If you want to, uh, to bag, you just remove that. And then if you want to discharge out the back, you've got this large opening in the back that uh, can shoot it down in the back side. So, all right, so I'll show you how to put the bag on. Like I said, it's super simple to do. There's nothing difficult about it. The bag itself, just like any other uh, push mower, you have these little notches here on the sides. Good firm handle. So you just sit those in the holes and voila, your bag's on. Just like any other push mower, that's not that difficult. To... But anyway guys, that's the Wabong 196cc um, push mower, commercial push mower. And I tell you guys, I am extremely pleased with this push mower for what it uh, what it's done for me. It uh, has really uh, helped me and made me more efficient with my push mower. Like I said, I've run the Hondas, I've run X Marks. Uh, the X Marks transmissions were just terrible for me. Uh, I'm sure if it was on flat property that is maintained weekly, you might have a little better luck. But for me, I just didn't have much luck out of it. So, but anyway, guys, that's the Wabong. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, I'll leave a link down below to Wabong's website. You can go check them out, see what you think. Uh, I do believe that they are currently selling with SLE equipment, and they are selling with, uh, I think you can order them through Home Depot online. Uh, you're not going to pick them up in stores, but you can order them online. Um, still working out the details on uh, other parts and accessories, things like that. I think you still kind of got to go through a bong. And uh, they're trying to get their, their foothold here in the American market. And um, they're, they're huge over in Europe. Uh, the guys over, I don't know if you guys uh, follow anybody on Facebook. If you get into the Lawn Care Legends uh, group on Facebook, you'll see uh, a lot of those guys, that's what they run are the Wabong mowers. And, and I tell you, man, they, I mean, I just can't stress enough how how happy I am to use this mower. I mean, it's it's a great little piece of equipment. Anyway, guys, until the next time, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and continue to support our channel. We'll see you guys later.